with the traffic congestion you experience in most cities and, and the urbanization coming up, you can't expand the roads how much you want, but there's a lot of space on the waterways. So why not use the waterways? Uh, if you look here in Stockholm, for example, there's very few boats and a lot of cars. The battery technology is, is evolving very, very fast. I mean, a couple of years ago, when we introduced supercharging, it was quite new. Now it, it's common. Uh, you can charge this boat, for example, you can run for half an hour, and you get uh, around um, 20 kilometers away, and then you charge for, let's say, 15 minutes with a quite high current. And, and uh, that is thanks to the new battery technology. When people have been talking about electric boats or zero emission boats, they have thought old fashioned ways. They, they have thought, okay, we would like to go eight knots, seven knots, like 15 kilometers per hour. We said, why don't we go faster, like 30 knots? And people have said, is that possible? Yeah, we can do 55 kilometers per hour on the boat. We take an air cushion vessel in a new fashion of an air cushion vessel. We combine it with state of the art building techniques like um, carbon fiber. Uh, and then we have the best propulsion system like Volvo IPS system. We then add the best of uh, battery technology. And we put all those items together. And by doing that, we are having a very, very good end product that can deliver performance that no one else has done until now. I hope that we will have Europe full of fast ferries because there's so much inland waterways that can be used. It was used some thousand years ago, very much. Now we're going back to that stage, I would say.